What up world? Today marks another day. So I'm putting this together with my vlog from yesterday just because yesterday kind of sucked. I didn't really do much. Uh, but today I'm here at Cabrini Park and I met a guy named Joey. So Joey has been trying to muscle up for five years consistently. So hopefully today he learns it with my help. He's able to do 18 pull-ups. I asked him to do a handful of pull-ups just so I could judge the quality and it looked good. So he's only lacking the technique in the poem. So hopefully today I'll be able to show it to him. I also got this in the mail today as a gift. It's called the natural grip. So I'm not a big believer of gloves, but I do believe if you're going for muscle ups or repetitions of muscle ups, you need gloves because it will tear up your hands. And uh, I'll be trying out the natural grips and giving you my review. If it's good, we will be carrying on barstars.com. Um, all right, let's get to the tutorial. So met my friend Joey here. How's it going? Joey's been trying to muscle up for five years? About five years, yeah. Let's see if we learn today. So, if I knew you were going to be here, I would have brought a tripod. Alright, so let's see how you, what you got so far. Oh, dude, you got it? Yeah. It's just the last time. You definitely can do it today. Alright, so let's break it down. I like to break it down. And so, the part, kind of step forward, then let your body swag back. Kind of like when you're in the swings as a kid, you use your legs to go forward and you use your legs to go back. Just swing. Let your lower body lead you. That's good. Good, good, good. All right, you have that one. Now you're going to mark the highest point on your way back. Swing it back and forth. So the highest point on your way back, you're going to bring your knees to your chest. Highest point on your way back, which will be here. So it's like you're utilizing the momentum. You get that natural momentum from swinging, the knees, the forceful knees, the chest, and you'll bring it back. Good, a little bit, late, perfect. Perfect, good, good. Now you're down to the last step. Which I think you're pretty much getting nailed right now. So on the way back, you're gonna bring your knees to your chest, you're gonna kick out and pull. Kick out, pull, and remember to rotate the wrist. So it has to be timed perfect for you to get it. All together. How do you do it? The thumb doesn't make a difference. It's just uh, how comfortable you are. So I tell people to use the pulling board. Back and forth, knees and chest, kick out. But now think really forceful form, really forceful kick. I describe like uh, this is water, but you kick. That's the kind of kick you're trying to get. Good, good. Right there. Let the legs go. You, 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 did, uh, you ever did six sides kick? Pull the bird, not right. If you miss once, you get a forceful move. You ever played uh, the rubber band same shot? Yeah. You pulled the rubber band back, but you didn't let go. Okay. So you put the knees in, but you didn't kick out. Okay, so basically, wrap So if you, if you use a reference of the magic bind, you didn't press the bind. You kind of got ready to press it. Okay. Yeah, you're super strong enough to do it. Because you already pulled up, so like right here. So Everything you just did, but when you bring the knees in, kick out and then pull. So that pull to get your wrist over, it comes with the kick, same time. You pull forward also? You pull, pull up. Pull up. Okay. The swinging is what causes the curve. So you're already at a curve. So if you go up at a curve, you go like that. Okay. Maybe I'll, you know, recording you and then letting you see with my help. It's good. Hard, hard, hard. Hard, 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 Buster! Oh, oh, oh. Let go of the legs. Up, 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 up. He didn't let go of the legs. Still. Up, 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 up. You had it. Oh, that was so perfect. Looking great, looking great. Hard, 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 up, up, up. He did a better job with the legs moving. Hard kick, hard pull. Hard kick, hard pull, hard kick. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Now, that direction you kick went that way. 
Right, guys this is my review of the natural grip so the natural grip i'm gonna give you the pros and cons so the pros of it it's really small and you can take it anywhere it's it fits perfect it's not as big as you would think it's really good grip uh like it's i would imagine it'd be great for static movements and just doing pull-ups and i feel like it goes over just perfect over my uh, calluses so I get most of my calluses from muscle ups, but I do get some for sure from pull ups. And I feel like this would prevent the ones in the middle of my hand. Now for the cons, these are not good for muscle ups. They have way too much grip. Unless you're going for low repetitions, this is gonna give you a lot of trouble doing your muscle up because it has so much grip. It's gonna actually make the, the movement of going from the pull up to the dip that much harder. It doesn't come with the wrap around the wrist. So they do sell the package together. So it's a package deal. But it does not default come with the wrap. And that would only make sense if you have your own preferred wrap that goes around your wrist. But it pretty much is pointless without a wrap. Because it's just a flap that goes over your hand. 
And if you don't have a wrap to hold it in, then you won't have uh, anything that you could use. It'll just be a flap. I guess you could still use it, but it'll be waving back and forth, which is not comfortable. Also, it's meant for you to chalk on the inside and the outside. Now, me, I personally don't walk around with a lot of chalk or train with chalk. So, I don't picture I would ever use use it with chalk. And even when I tried it out, I didn't try it out with chalk. I just did it uh, plain. And it, it felt good. It felt great. But, again, uh, it's not something I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. I would only use it if I was very particularly working statics. And I wasn't expecting too many explosive or hand transitions. And I could see if someone works pull-ups and they're just trying to avoid uh, calluses, it could help. It was actually uh, one of the softest or sm or not softest or let's say this say uh, smoothest patches of uh, fabric I ever had on my hand compared to any other glove. It felt great. So yeah, those are the pros and cons. So to sum it up, good for statics, good for pull-ups, feels good, compact. Cons, bad for dynamics, has a lot of grip, is su supposed to use is with the chalk doesn't come with a wrap around the wrist. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.